HBAR is on a tear this morning, up over 15% in the last 24 hours. The question is, are we about to hit rejection? Is a short opportunity coming on HBAR, or do we have a little bit more room to run to the upside? We just hit a new high since all the way back in 2022. The question is, where do we go from here? We're going to be taking a look at a couple different things here. There's an article. There's some charts. If you're already a subscriber, though, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button so we go ahead and get this out to more people. And uh, if you're new here, thank you so much for choosing the Investing Bros channel. Go ahead and watch the entire video for me to tell you what I think is going to happen for HBAR price and why you should be bullish on this coin long term. Now, let's kind of jump in here and let's start off. There was a super bullish article written this morning. Of course, if you go into CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko or anything else, you see the pump on uh, HBAR. But there's an article over here on CoinGate saying HBAR smashed new all-time high, which high for the year, not new all-time high. Uh, but will the rally continue to $1? Now, that's it's getting a little bit above us. I mean, we just cleared $0.10 cents again for the second time in the last couple of weeks. But when you see articles like this, you do have to kind of start looking at how bullish we could get. And let's go ahead and go over to the HBAR chart. I want you guys to know this is something that is looking very, very good. There's a couple of reasons why. Now, you're going to see this yellow line right here. I'm going to refer to this yellow line here in just a second. It might look like nothing to you, but I will address what that is. But let's take a look at one of the reasons why we should be looking very, very bullish. Uh, this price level that we're, we just broke through this yellow line, well, technically, we need to get a little higher above 11 cents. That's going to be my second level right there. And I'm going to go ahead and just put a straight line right at 11 cents. Uh, that'll give us a nice little zone right here. If we can clear that red line, even just looking at the chart right here, the next level of resistance that will come into play is at 13.5 cents. Realistically, though, the strong support, that was a wick back here all the way in June of 2021. The real support level that could be turned into resistance is coming in all the way at 15 cents. So that's kind of what we're going to be going into in this video. Can we hit this 15 cent zone? I'm going to be more, more focused on the bullishness, but I want you to know, for this to happen, we do need to clear 11 cents. Once 11 cents is cleared, I feel very good. And let's go ahead and start talking about some of the reasons why that is. Not only do we see from the charts, this is a former serious support line. Let's take a look at the fixed range volume profile in this time period using all this uh, high price action. You can see that we have clearly, if we get to 11 cents, we still are working our way down the mountain, but we reach a volume gap that does not pick up in volume till all the way up here above 16 cents. You guys know that I like to look for volume gaps as levels of resistance, but in this case, because the gap lasts for so long, you run until where you actually start to have some difficulty. Where does that difficulty come in? 15 cents. So if again, we can clear and get into this gap, this is a second reason that we should be moving to that upside. You're also going to see on my chart the nice dotted line coming in here that we're in a little bit of a channel since back here we had the first resistance touch in August. We had the first support touch in December of 2022, that is. And then, of course, we've kind of made some nice nice couple of touches, three different touches on our support line, only two on the resistance. But that would take us right into that category, that place in the next couple of weeks here between 13 to 15 cents. Now it comes to this yellow line. What is this yellow line doing here? Why is it significant other than being the resistance level back here in February of 2023? This isn't the prettiest one I've ever seen, but some of you will know this is a very good looking, again, I'm not going to say the best I've ever seen, but a good looking cup and handle formation. Why is that? Well, yeah, we had this nice little rally in between, but as a whole, the overall movement made a nice cup a nice rounded position, and then we came back down for our handle. A little bit of education here. When you're looking for cup and handle formations, you're looking for the handle to be close to, if not a little bit more than halfway of what the cup actually is. And so this handle is nice and perfect. This isn't a head and shoulders pattern because this would make the left shoulder and the left shoulder are inverse head and shoulders, I should say. The left shoulder on an inverse head and shoulders is never going to be lower than the head. So at any, if anyone's wondering, well, Tim, shouldn't this be an inverse head and shoulders pattern? No, it should not. This is a continuing rising support level, but it does look like a good cup and handle formation. Well, how do we predict what a cup and handle breakout should look like? That we take the length of the handle, not the length of the cup, the length of the handle. We move it to the breakout position, 
guess what that gives us a price of? 14.6 cents. Right there smack middle between my zone. I'll go ahead and just even put a little pocket right here between 13 to about 15 uh, cents give or take. I'm just going to be a nice little pocket. That puts us right into the middle of this prediction. So we're seeing multiple things talk about a continual breakout for HBAR. And even if you were to buy right now, don't be surprised if we retest this yellow line at some point. So let's just say you put a long position at this yellow line. We're looking at anywhere between a 37 to potentially 61% rally if this breakout continues. That would have us fill the volume gap. It would have us play out the cup and handle formation. It would also take us back to more than likely finding some resistance on this white dotted line in the next couple of weeks. The other reason I potentially could be bullish on this is when I pull up my Lux Algo out here on the weekly chart, take a look at what we have here. This is a long time frame, but we do have our take profit all the way up the bottom of the take profits actually sitting up there at the top of our range closer to 16 cents. We also have the red resistance band that has not existed very long here on Binance because HBAR is not necessarily too old of a coin. But we have the resistance coming in that same level. So we're seeing overwhelming things saying, hey, got a lot of reasons to be bullish here on HBAR. When we do go down to the daily chart, this is where you start to make the argument, but we have some room to go, right? After rallying here and touching the red resistance once, we touched it a second time and a third time, and then we turned it sideways. Now that we're back in the red resistance, we're above our take profit, there is a chance that we do end up rejecting here on this red line. That strong level of resistance before this whole thing breaks out. I've actually got to move this down just a little bit because I was a little high with my estimate earlier. It's going to come in right, yeah, pretty much dead smack on 11 cents. That could end eventually be resistance and brings us back down to the green level of support. When you even take a look here at order blocks, we don't have a single order block uh, higher than this one here at six cents. But realistically, you're looking at some of these other ones back down towards the dotted line, even back down towards five cents. Again, that's a big swing here. We're talking about the difference between rallying up to 15 or falling all back to five. This is why you want to keep your head in the swivel and look for different things. Uh, when I look at the oscillator, though, here's a reason maybe potentially to stay bullish. So we could get some bearish divergence to play out here, but don't be surprised to see some volatility. The MACD definitely has room to go. We're currently saying we're 100% overbought, but effectively, when I look at the Luxago oscillator, we've just really crossed bullish into the money flow. We did get a red reversal dot that looks like it was ignored, and I'm seeing green momentum continue to come in. So slightly mixed signals, but I'm going to go give, I'm going to go ahead and give the edge to the bulls on this one that until I see a lot more bearishness pop up on my oscillator, even the daily chart is saying, Hey, are we more overextended than we were a couple of days ago? Absolutely. But do we have further room to the upside? Yes, we do. So Lux Algo again, giving us signals and levels for if bears take over what to look out for. But at the same time, we're seeing a lot of it saying, Hey, this bullish momentum might just be going. We might actually be seeing the beginning of the altcoin season happening with HBAR having a huge day this morning. But let me know in the comments what you think. Are you bullish on HBAR? Is this one of your coins that you hold? Is it one that after this video you're saying, man, I got to get this into my portfolio now? What price are you looking at that looks juicy to you? Am I wrong? Are we just going down from here? Or do we get that 15 cents? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, let me know some of your other favorite coins that you want to see some more videos just like this on. With that said, though, smash that like button on your way out if you enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe so you don't miss a single video we put out here on the channel. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one.